Hey guys. Oh, there you are. It is uh, day two and we're still talking about anything's possible power. And we know that we don't have anything's possible power without God. And so Sunday we looked at anything's possible power is unstoppable. And so Mickey, I just want you to, to talk a little bit about how we find this, where we find this in the Bible. Well, well, the thing about God's power, um, it, it's, it's so unstoppable, it can actually stop what we deem as unstoppable. And there, there's a number of instances in, throughout Scripture that, that the writers of the Bible fully believe this, and that's why they, 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 they put some of those, these stories that we can read and we can see in this book. Uh, one, some that come to mind, like Daniel in the lion's den. He goes in to the den, that den, thinking, you know, same thing I would think. Like, uh, it's I, over. this is it. This yeah. is it. I'm, I, you know, yeah. I would say goodbye to my family. Like, it's, it's uh, like they've called, like, this is it. And so, but God shuts the mouth of the lion. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in the same book as, you know, friends with Daniel. And, and he get, they get thrown into a fire furnace because they, they refuse to, to bow down to what, the king is saying, and um, and so he orders it so hot that like when the people that are guarding the furnace open the door, they boom, they just burn up. Right. They go in, and they come out. They don't even smell like smoke. Uh, the children of Israel they crossed the Red Sea when they were coming out of Egypt, and God stopped the flow of water, what we deem is un- un- unstoppable, and made walls out of it, and they walked across on dry ground. I mean, think about that if you know, we live in the South, but if you went up to one of the Great Lakes and you look across that and you say, uh, uh, I, I got to walk across this? Now, Peter hadn't walked on water yet. Jesus hadn't walked on water. You got to think what these Israelites are thinking. Uh, this is, we can't do this. Well, God stops the unstoppable. Um, you know, there's other stories in the Bible. You think about like uh, the, what the David, when he, had, when he went and fought Goliath, um, you know, he stopped the, the giant with a slingshot and right. a and stone. And, uh, you know, there's so many other things. New Testament, if you want to go to just Jesus, he's asleep on the boat, and the disciples are worried and nervous, and they're, they're, they're scared that uh, this storm uh, on the Sea of Galilee is just going to overturn their boat. And Jesus wakes up, he says, why are you worried? And he, and he looks at the storm, he says, stop. And it stops. It's crazy. And so he stops. He, he can, like, his, his, his power is so powerful that it stops you know, that's why we that's why we say is anything's possible power is unstoppable right so that's great that we see this from scripture and that is a huge base to kind of leap off of but how does this kind of apply to to my life and the people's listening how does it apply to their life well i think there's a couple things that we could say in this the first one i would say is i think we all have obstacles in our life that we look at and no matter how small uh, someone else deems them, or how small someone else thinks they are, or how large someone else thinks they are. Um, they're a, they're a, they're at lions den to us. They're a fiery furnace. They're they're a, they're the Red Sea, uh, and we're trying to to get past those. And, um, and and I can just tell you from my own life, you know, I've I, I've I've come up against things in my life, and I, I try to do it on my own. And I I am very stoppable, very very capable of being stopped. Uh, you could ask some of the people that guarded me in high school uh, when when we played basketball. They they stopped me all the time, and so um, and I, I'm very capable. But but the power that's in me, the, the anything's possible power, is unstoppable. And, and so um, I think a lot of times we come up against these obstacles and we look at them and we say, I can't do this. Right. And we throw in the towel. But it's God's work in us that that I think that but that when we look at this, that we say we we become. Unstoppable. And I pulled up a verse here before we started filming uh, in Philippians 1.6 because it, it, it kind of, I thought about this and it says being confident of this. What are we confident of? This being God's power in us. And that's what we're confident of. I'm not confident about anything that I do. It says that he, he being Jesus or, or God, who began a good work in you, which would be me, will, will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. And so when I look at that and I think about that and I say, and this this power that that's at work inside me, the same power that 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 rose from the that, that rose Jesus from the dead. When it's at work inside me, it becomes unstoppable. So when I come up against something, when I see uh, my lion's den, when I see my fiery furnace, when I see my Red Sea right in front of me, and I think, "Whoo, I, I can't do this." I, this is when I got to come back to the power that is at work inside of me and, and, and look at it and say, "He who began a good work in me." I'm confident in that, 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 that it's going to come through. 
Right. And so that, that he's faithful, that he's faithful yeah. to, to do that. And so it's that anything's possible power in me that, that makes it unstoppable. Absolutely. Hey guys, thank you so much for tuning in again. Remember you can like this, you can share it. Uh, one thing we know is that God's power is unstoppable. It's mm. beyond all, all capability to, to think of. And so just remember in your life today that if something seems too big for you to conquer on your own, lean into God and lean into his power because he is the one that's unstoppable. And with him, anything is possible. That's right. That's right. See you guys tomorrow.